Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk to you about building a lead tracking form in MS Forms. Uh, Contoso, the example organization that I'm using, needs a way to get structured information from customers without asking them to log in. And we need to ask them a bunch of questions, so that's the information gathering part. And then we're going to do an automation part in another demonstration from this one, where we're going to create SharePoint tasks from the MS Forum responses. Because, of course, the sales team want to handle these responses as tasks in SharePoint so that they can track those leads and work with them and categorize them and so on. All right, so we have created a SharePoint site already for the sales team. And I've also gone into MS Forms, and I'm going to create a new form here. The developer tools are there. We are now. We are in full page view, and the reason I had the developer tools up before was that I wanted to see what dimensions were the correct ones for the heading here. And it's 120 by 120 pixels, so I've created a logo for that. So let's. Start by giving this a name, Contoso Customer Survey. And I'm going to add the logo, and of course, I've already created one that is in those specific dimensions. MS Forum 120, that's the one I want. And as you see, that works perfectly there, and it's a beautiful logo, don't you think? And get in touch with the team is the um, subheading of that form. So now let's put these side by side and um, start adding the questions. This is, of course, a choice type question. So I'm going to create a choice. And the question is, what is your favorite type of bike? I'm just going to copy that and paste it in there without the one. Of course, we don't need that. And then we're going to add an image here. And those specific dimensions, they vary depending on screen size. So there's no recommended size for those. Microsoft will try to do the best it can. So let's just search for a bike here just to illustrate this point these are all creative commons so that's good so we can use all of these so that that one is a nice bike i guess so we'll add that one and then we'll just add the options here road city mountain now of course in general forms development i always recommend you to put these things in alphabetical order but that might not be optimal for your needs here. So it's not so important because this is not a work tool, this is more a survey tool. So I don't think it's very important to put them in the right order. However, people might look for them in alphabetical order. They might expect alphabetical order. So it might be a good idea anyhow. But now I'll just type them as they are. So there I have my question and my illustration of that and my options. That's done with number one. I'm gonna add a question and that's another one. That's a um, input text field, like that. And how many kilometers do you typically ride each week? That's the one we want there. Keeps getting the number there. Okay, there we go. And um, maybe we can have some de France. Which is a long, long, long bike ride. Have something there. Yeah, Tour de France might be. We can add that there, would look good. And this is not a uh, long answer, of course, so that's it. We're going on, how much would you consider spending? And that's a choice. We have some choice available here at the end. That's, there we go, those are my ranges that I wanna use. So let's just copy and paste those, there we go. It's of course a very important question for the sales team. Let's actually change this view so that we can see it in um, the read mode. That means that I can fit everything in one screen. I don't have to scroll horizontally. That's better. So um, let's actually add one less than 500. That's important too. Probably don't want to get in touch with that person. 500 to, to 700. And um, moving on, 700 to $2,000. And then we add another option, no, not 200, 2,000. That's what I wanted to show there. And, uh, and of course, these definitely need to be in the right order. 1,000 to $1,500. 
And then, of course, the more option. So let's have a picture of money there, just to illustrate something. Maybe not that much, but okay, let's use this one. Just to have something. It's nice to have a picture to relate something to, even if they're probably not going to pay that much for the bike. But anyhow, and then we have the simple questions, name, phone number, email, and if they want the newsletter or not. So that's, of course, going to be a text field here. And a question. We don't have to have a picture for that one. Phone number. Let's add one for that. Probably want their mobile phone number, so let's search for that. And uh, moving on to the email. It's going to be a text question also. Let's not illustrate. I just noticed that I'm off with the numbers here. The, the 7 is the email. And that indicates that I've lost the count somewhere here. And I actually want to add another question here after number 2. After This should be number 3, of course. So let's add a question there. So I select a question, and then I can add a question under it. That's how it works. And this is, of course, a text question also like that. All right, no illustration for that one. And now the numbering is correct also. And finally, we just want the newsletter here. That should, of course, be a choice question here. And the choices are yes or no. Of course, I would like to put that as the default value. But as far as I know, there's no way to put and set that as default. So my question, of course, is do you want the newsletter? So now we're done with all the questions. And that's my survey. Uh, now, the only thing that I need to do to get this up and running is share it. The default here is that only people in my organization can respond. If I change that to anyone with a link can respond, then I have a link that I can copy. And of course, I can get that emailed out or share that on my web page, or I can even make a QR code for that, or I can embed it in another page. Of course, uh, that would um, need us to have Contoso public website that I've not set up for this demonstration. But I think you get the point, and we have a 10-minute demo on how to create a survey. And we can, of course, preview this now to see that it works. And uh, here's the answers. I can just respond to it. Uh, 50. Handlebar. Test that it works as it should. I want to spend that much money. My name is Peter, and so on. And then you submit it all. Now I didn't set all these questions as mandatory or as required, so it's going to accept that. And there's uh, how it looks on the computer, by the way. You can also see how it looks on the mobile. It looks rather nice on the mobile also, doesn't it? Maybe we should make some of these images slightly smaller, especially that one, the mobile one. It takes up a lot of space. But I've illustrated how you create a anonymous form, so we have done the information gathering bit. Next, in the next video, I will and create a flow that takes these forms answers or responses and puts them into a SharePoint task list. Thank you for watching this demonstration.